Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Akash, and this is Varika and Mohit, and we are going to um, play a role for financial managing plan for um, Fletcher. So our theme is customer invitation because um, um, Varika is going to join Fletcher because uh, he is a shareholder in other companies. So he asked. Uh, he sent us an email for uh, in, um, joining this um, Fletcher for, the share, uh, for being a shareholder. So we sent him an invitation to um, have a talk to us. So, Manju, how do you can go up? Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> So Fletcher is um, one of the uh, largest uh, construction companies in New Zealand, as you might know. And um, so we got this financial analysis for you, which tells you about the profit and the um, uh, uh, net profit margin and all the efficiency ratios. So first of all, I'll tell you about the um, gross profit that we have made in the uh, last few years, uh, which is uh, including current year as well. So in 2017, from 2017, 18, and 19, so there is 22.8% um, uh, gross profit margin in 2017. It has decreased in um, 2018, but then it has increased uh, more than 2017 in 2019, which is current year. So uh, because of the ratio issues, and uh, our net profit has increased from 2017 to 2019. Uh, it decreased because of uh, um, more uh, uh, cost of sale, and then we, we made more profit in 2019. So, I just want to know I am a financial analyst. Yeah, so I'm then the future one is in the supporting yeah. Um I'll tell you the future because. I know your um, main goal is to maximize your wealth because you went to another um, company, company as well. And I know you're making less profit from there, but if you join our company, then you're gonna have better future. So uh, our sales are increasing with eight, uh, revenue are increasing with eight and one percent every year, as we uh, discovered uh, mm -hmm. from the last few years um, of the So if you see our current revenue is 8308 million, mm -hmm. and uh, you can see the next three years, so which is like being positivity for you. So in 2020, if we increase it, if it is increased with 8 and 1, and then it's gonna be uh, 8,981 million in 2020, and as far as it's going to 21, 22. So this is how it is increasing. Also, the cost of sale, it is increasing with 7.2, obviously because the revenue is increasing, so cost of sales are increasing also. If the cost of sales increasing, we're gonna have more profit as well. So our profit will be increasing this as well with the other sales. So um, that's it with the future. You can so tell us the profit from this profit. Oh uh, yeah, as I've already shown you the profit that we've made. So last year we made a profit of 2,283 million last year. Yeah, um, which is beneficial for you. Okay. Uh, So risks, risks to our company is very um, less. Yeah, so um, so there's no risk to our company. As you can see, we have um, compared it with one of the other um, um, construction company, which is Steel and Tube. You might know it. 
um, yeah. because we got the expected return higher than them, and we got the standard deviation higher than them, so there is no risk for us. And you'll see there, um, it is quite lower than ours, so their performance is better than ours, so which is uh, which means we are doing better than theirs. So, uh, so your investment decision. So, I'll, I'll, as you have seen, after you, you have been through the um, uh, risk uh, analysis, and you have been through the um, all these uh, ratios, financial ratios, and all that. So you are, yes, I've shown you the how much we are making every year, and uh, how we are treating our. Um, shareholders and they're getting benefit from that. I will call one of our shareholders, a stakeholder, and we go through a shareholder, which is Mungi from Vikram. Mungi's gonna be a shareholder and you go ahead. Please come, this is Brendan, and he wants to be our shareholder. Thank you. Yeah, so I've I've told him that you are here from like India, and I'll tell him. It is better if he knows like what is going on with the shareholders, so you can talk to him. Okay. Okay. I'm good. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, as you told me before, like you have been uh, past ten years, so tell me about your experience. How you can. Yeah. I have present experience with Fletcher. Uh, it would be great if you think about them and uh, during the Fletcher uh, share high rates and more profit uh, with the other companies. Uh, as CFO, might be told you, uh, performance of Fletcher uh, like uh, 8,308 million in 2019 uh, in financial year. Uh, also, uh, the profit of uh, 2,283 million in 2019. Okay, so can you tell me like, are you happy with the flexibility? Because you guys have been here so many years. So, how do you feel like, are you happy with the flexibility? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm happy uh, because uh, the shareholder or like, uh, I will uh, make more profit and make more gain in, uh, uh, as compared to other companies. So, if you want to join us, then more uh, gain. Thank you. Yeah, so Manvi is one of our shareholders for a long time, and he has a good experience with us, and he makes profit every year with the um, profit that we are gaining. So we give value to our shareholders. So it would be uh, good if you join our company because you are one of the biggest shareholders in the other company, and we would like you to have our shareholders. Well, I'm really happy because your performance and the uh, things that you told me about them. Yeah. Yeah, I can be sure. So um, our net present value, um, which is already um, going higher than our initial outlay. So you can see um, this is 339.98 million, which is higher than the 160 million initial outlay, which is which means we are doing in our, um, in our um, present value. And our internal rate of return is 86.8, 86 percent, which is higher than our um, 8.1 um, revenue. So which is better, which, which is like positive for our company. Share. Yeah, so they are currently because shares like share every time. So our share for uh, share price is five hundred. Okay. Um, okay. <coughs> okay, guys, you guys right. It's only seven minutes. So therefore, I will ask many questions sure. to cover your time as well as to try to give the fair marks here. Okay. Let's start from Akash. So your role is Chief Financial Officer of uh, Fletcher Percentage. Okay, so you explain the current financial analysis and the future trend and what is the uh, cash flow you are getting from your investment and all. Could you explain the difference between gross profit and net profit? Gross profit. Um, gross profit is before tax. 
and the net profit after that. Okay, how the gross profit is calculated? So how this gross profit is calculated? Gross profit is all the um, sales that we that we make and with with the from the sales yeah. what you have to what you have to adjust to get the gross profit. Okay, what is the difference? You said right, gross profit is before tax, and what else before what? Before paying the tax, what yeah. is the difference? Net profit is after paying tax. Okay. Yeah. So what else, right? You have to deduct and before cost tax. Of, cost of sale. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that means the gross profit is calculated from the sales yeah. after deducting the cost of sales. Yeah. Net profit. Is when when you take it out. Yeah. Yeah. The sales. That means after you calculate the gross profit, yeah. you calculate the net profit. Yeah. So what you have to deduct to calculate yeah. the net profit? So it's like um, you you take uh, the tax and then the sales, then you uh, then you get the uh, net profit. So, so that's what in between some expenses there. What kind of expenses? All the other expenses. Um, what do you call them? Operating expenses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next question, so you calculate the NPV and IRR, yes. what both right, um, sales communicate to the investors? So I'll um, just go to the slide. So the NPV is like, because they have um, their, their present value, mm -hmm. so at net present value, NPV is a net present value. So if they have 152 mm -hmm. and they want to know their um, present value, if they invest, I mean they use it, their, their present value will be uh, 339, mm -hmm. yes, um, so which is higher than the, uh, their initial outlay, mm -hmm. so which is um, benefit for a company, that is one good, yeah. So okay. it is mainly used if you, if you, if anyone, anybody wants to uh, take up investment and they want to know if they're going to get benefit, mm -hmm. so it is going higher than the uh, Investment, so it, it means it's a positive. Okay, what about IRR? So IRR is the internal rate of return. That how much how how much return they get, um, the percentage. So their internal rate of return um, is higher than what they have um, over here. So it's um, eight point one the revenue. So their um, internal rate of return is higher than the revenue. What about that, right? Uh, what is the discount rate you use for the calculation? Oh, uh, it's 10, 10%. Okay. So what's your IRR? So it's 86%. Is it's it good? More, yeah, because it's higher than the um, discount rate. Yes, so it's good. Okay. But in the part, right? So you have a potential investor, okay? So whether the financial analysis of the Fletcher is convince you and how it convince you? So, uh, as compared to another company, as Akash uh, mentioned there, they are, they are a very better as compared to another and it's got a downfall only one year but after that it's uh, grow very uh, well and as well, I to uh, talk to it's another stakeholder, and he's very happy with it because he's been here last ten years, and he's very happy with um, Fletcher building. So, could you tell any competitor of Fletcher? Um, no, Fletcher building company. Dominion. How do you see the big and their performance as well. Um, as far as the return of Fletcher building is uh, 0.05% and dominant uh, 0.02%. Okay, the so return is higher in the Fletcher. Fletcher, yeah. yeah. So that's what I asked here, yeah, you put it like right, steel and cube diameter, so you have to remember whatever you put it on the slide, okay? Uh, one next question, right? What you are expecting if you buy the shares from Fletcher? What you write uh, expecting from Fletcher? Uh, like as a every uh, shareholder, I just wanna get the profit from uh, Fletcher building. And as I just told uh, the CFO, their share uh, it is uh, 
Okay, the question from Manveer. Manveer, we are the shareholder, we have been inscribed more than 10 years in uh, right as a shareholder in Fletcher. How right Fletcher communicate with you? What are the tools they use to communicate with you? As you are a shareholder. Like uh, email. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when email. How do you know whether they are doing well or not? Right. How do you know that? Text on. Mm -hmm. Apart from uh, email or sometimes break time. Mm -hmm. Okay, you already mentioned email. You already mentioned okay, they text you. Okay. <coughs> what else? How do you know is it profitability or what is the risk of the business? How do you know that? About a shareholder. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Right. Yeah, I'm going to start